is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good morning, everyone. 10 a.m. market update here at Tiger Financial News Network. This is Basil Chapman here, and we've got on this Wednesday, the 14th of December, mid-month, we've got the Fed speak this afternoon, 2 to 2.30. Uh, actually, probably 2 to 2.45 will be the market action and reaction. And we've gone through the 10 o'clock hour with whatever news there is, so far, the market's still holding very well. The Dow's up 166 points after a fantastic 700 point, 8.30 in the morning, two minutes whopping rocket ship to the upside. Later on, a plunge to the downside, went negative, then closed up about 100 points. And now we are filling in this midpoint of that candle yesterday. Can it sustain itself? Well, normally, as we get into the Fed speak, the market, if it's rallying, it starts to come down. If it's uh, declining, it starts to come back up. Just to get kind of neutral for the for the news, we'll see what happens. Most importantly, this is a, <clears throat> a very important uh, price time in this bar right now that we're looking at. We're looking at the Dow up 151, the S&P. Let's just go through these real quickly because I want to show you something else because I have my webinar tomorrow. Uh, this is the uh, trading webinar in the morning. Uh, the S&P is up 18 at 4,038. The QQQ, NDX 100, up $1.22 at 289. IWM, Russell 2000, uh, really struggling. It's up 43 cents, but it had an ugly day yesterday. The uh, gold had a fantastic day yesterday, pulling back just a little bit down 5 at 18.20. The dollar is trying to find some kind of support, and it can't get above the uh, 14 period or the nine period moving averages is down nine ticks. You're looking at bonds, and that was a big move uh, yesterday. And then it gave back some. Now it's up 26 cents at 107.96. Let me show you this. I'll do this in my coming up show, the Tiger Technicians Hour, in a few minutes. And uh, look at this. You're always the objective in the chat wave is to get you to at least a peak D. Look, when it crossed the E mini one minute chart, crossed the 200 period moving average right there, it went from 40. Uh, 4053 to where it is right now at 4074. This is now a leg F, a peak F. We'll be looking to see what happens. And there's that obligation to get you to a D in the 10 minute chart. It went to a leg D. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Don't forget, check the front page of TFNN for my webinar tomorrow.